Week 2, Chapter 6, an overview of um, genes and genetic diseases, but this chapter is mostly on uh, the terminology, vocabulary, and overview of genetics. So in genetics, we start with the DNA. The DNA is a um, double helix that is composed of 20 amino acids, um, and it twists and unzips to a single strand during repl replication in order to make uh, new DNA. So uh, you don't need to remember the details here, just that, that um, there are 20 amino acids and it's a double helix model. DNA mutation takes place um, in a variety of different ways. Um, it can happen because of an inherited alteration of genetic material, which basically means that there's chromosomal aberrations um, that make the DNA um, not normal. It can happen when um, substitution takes place where one base pair is substituted for another in the DNA change, chain, excuse me, and um, it, it can take uh, place in a variety of different ways. Just so you know, um, DNA mutation, um, as you get more into the genetics when you hit OB and, and um, some of the other classes later on, there are different ways that DNA mutates. Um, DNA can also be mutated um, by exposure to some sort of a, an external uh, element, um, and we know that it increases the frequency of, that, of, of mutations, radiation, chemicals, um, we know that these things um, create gene mutations. Nice picture of transcription. Nice picture of translation. Not that you need to know the details here, but it gives you an overview of what's going on. In these next few slides, it's understand. It, it's important that you are able to. Um, understand the vocabulary and the definitions and the terminology um, because this is going to lay your foundation for future studying. So we know that there are somatic cells um, and it contains in the somatic cells 46 chromosomes or 23 pairs. We know there are gametes um, that contain only half that amount. autosomes, and then um, autosomes are the first 22 of the 23 pairs of chromosomes, and the last set um, has to do with the sex chromosomes, the X and the Y. When we are um, testing for this, you need to understand the vocabulary here. Homozygous means that um, the chromosomes have identical genes. Heterozygous means there's a pair of um, different genes there. Genotype, uh, which is what we'll focus on here, is what they have or the composition of the genes at a, a given spot on the chain. And phenotype is what they look like or what they demonstrate. It's so the outward appearance of, um, of the genetics. This is just an example of what a pedigree looks like. We'll be doing more of this as you get into physical assessment in that. I just wanted to introduce the concepts. You will not be tested on this. Now, genes can be, um, can be transmitted by a single gene. Um, and in that case, it means that um, because you get your genes, one from a mom and one from a dad, um, that it, this is a, a picture of what that would look like. On average, um, if this is occurring, half of the offspring will be normal, 50%, and 50% will have 
um, the um, disease process, which is what's being shown in the bottom. What's really important about this and, and about genetic disorders, um, particularly in single gene disorders, is that the recurrence risk probability is exactly the same. So, for example, if one parent um, has the Baraka C, gene, uh, Baraka C gene and another parent doesn't, every time they have a child and get pregnant, that child has a 50% chance of um, contracting um, or having an abnormal Baraka C gene. Th this, is, um, this is something that, uh, that we need to be able to discuss with patients. Um, this is something that we need to be able to understand that that 50% risk does not go away. That too, there is something called autosomal recessive disorders, and these are where, um, in most cases, both of the parents of the affected individuals are are carriers, and the recurrence risk for offspring is only about 20, 25 percent in these cases. Males and females are equally affected. And lastly, there are sex-linked inheritance characteristics that are located either on the, um, mostly on the X chromosome um, and, and are usually seen in males rather than females because of this. And that is the end of the genetic overview. This chapter is not going to be tested heavily if so, it'll be tested mostly on vocabulary. Um, so it's just a, 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 you just need to understand how the disease processes get expressed.